Welcome to Kids Worship at Christ Presbyterian Church for the week of March 28th. Palm Sunday is tomorrow. We are happy you can worship with us. This candle is lit to remind us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Let's join Mark for our music piece for this week. Good morning. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, this is Palm Sunday, and on Palm Sunday, long ago, the people in Jerusalem all knew that Jesus was going to come into town riding on a donkey. And so they waved their palm branches and, and said, let's, let's worship him. Uh, let's sing Hosanna, which means praise to Jesus. And so uh, the song goes like this. I'll say part of it, and you say it back to me. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. The little children sing. The little children sing. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. For Christ our Lord is King. For Christ our Lord is King. Prepare the way the children sing. Prepare the way the children sing. Hosanna to our Lord and King. Hosanna to our Lord and King. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. The little children sing. The little children sing. Okay, I'll sing it and you sing back to me. Hosanna, Hosanna. Your turn. Hosanna, Hosanna. The little children sing. Your turn. The little children sing. two chunks, and then you do it. Hosanna, Hosanna, the little children sing. Hosanna, Hosanna, the little children sing. Hosanna, Hosanna, for Christ our Lord is King. Hosanna, Goodbye. We can prepare to hear God's message for us today with a prayer. I'll say a chunk and pause so you can repeat it back. Dear God, be our guide as we seek to learn more about you and how to follow in the ways of Jesus. Amen. We are going to start off with a story. Let's check out the book, Sheila Ray the Brave. Sheila Ray the Brave. Sheila Ray wasn't afraid of anything. She wasn't afraid of the dark. 
She wasn't afraid of thunder and lightning. And she wasn't afraid of the big black dog at the end of the block. At dinner, Sheila Ray made believe that the cherries in her fruit cocktail were the eyes of dead bears, and she ate five of them. At school, Sheila Ray giggled when the principal walked by. And when her classmate Wendell stole her jump rope during recess, Sheila Ray tied him up until the bell rang. I am very brave, Sheila Ray said, patting herself on the back. Sheila Ray stepped on every crack in the sidewalk without fear. When her sister Louise said there was a monster in the closet, Sheila Ray attacked it. And she rode her bicycle no-handed with her eyes closed. Yay, yay, Sheila Ray, her friends yelled, clapping their hands. One day, Sheila Ray decided to walk home from school a new way. Louise was afraid to. You're too brave for me, Louise said. You're always such a scaredy cat, Sheila Ray called. I'm not, whispered Louise. Sheila Ray started off skipping. I am brave, she sang. I am fearless. She stepped on every crack. She walked backwards with her eyes closed. She growled at stray dogs and bared her teeth at stray cats. And she pretended that the trees were evil creatures. She climbed up them and broke their fingers off. Snap, snap, snap. Sheila Ray walked and walked. She turned corners. She crossed streets. It suddenly occurred to Sheila Ray that nothing looked familiar. Sheila Ray heard frightening noises. They sounded worse than thunder. She thought horrible thoughts. They were worse than anything she had ever imagined. I am brave, Sheila Ray tried to convince herself. I am fearless. The sounds became more frightening. The thoughts became more horrible. Sheila Ray sat down on a rock and cried. Help, she sniffed. She thought of her mother and her father and Louise. Mother, father, Louise, she cried. Here I am, a voice said. Louise, Sheila Ray hugged her sister. We're lost, Sheila Ray said. No, we're not, said Louise. I know the way home. Follow me. Louise stepped on every crack. She walked backwards with her eyes closed. She growled at stray dogs and bared her teeth at stray cats. And she pretended the trees were evil creatures. She jumped up and broke off their fingers. Snap, snap, snap. 
Sheila Ray walked quietly behind her. They walked and walked. They crossed streets. They turned corners. Soon their house could be seen between the trees. Sheila Ray grabbed Louise and dashed up the street. When they reached their own yard and the gate was closed behind them, Sheila Ray said, Louise, you are brave. You are fearless. We both are, said Louise, and they walked backwards into the house with their eyes closed. Our lesson today is on the scripture from the book of John in the New Testament, chapter 12, verses 1 through 19. Today, we'll share a portion of this passage from our Spark House Bible. Let's listen to God's word for us today. Mary anoints Jesus. Six days before the holiday called Passover, Jesus joined some friends for dinner at Lazarus's house. Jesus sat between Lazarus and Judas. Martha set the table in front of them. All of a sudden, the room filled with the scent of expensive perfume. Drip, drop, splash. Mary was anointing the feet of Jesus with a whole jar of fancy perfume. What a waste, Mary, Judas said. You should save that perfume and sell it and give money to the poor. Mary is showing her love, Jesus interrupted. Her love isn't a waste. Jesus added, God doesn't save any love, but pours it all out onto each of us. Give all your love to God. The house smelled of the perfume for a long time. It was a reminder of Jesus' lesson of God's overflowing love. This is a long, hard week for Jesus. Today we remember the protest parade he led. On Thursday, we'll remember the dinner Jesus had with his friends and how one of those friends betrayed him. On Friday, we'll remember how Jesus was arrested and sentenced to die, even though he did nothing wrong. Jesus knew this is how the week would end, and so he had to be very brave. Sometimes God needs us to do hard things, but the good news is that God always gives us courage. And when we don't have enough courage ourselves, we can borrow it from others. Just like Sheila Ray had to borrow some courage from Louise when she was scared. That's why whenever we protest like Jesus to stand up for what's right, we do it together. We help each other to be brave when we have to do something hard. For the activity this week, you can think about and act out different scenarios where you might need courage. What are some situations you find scary or difficult? How can you be courageous when faced with that situation? Will you face your fear? Or is removing yourself from the situation a better solution? If you're a Harry Potter fan, this can be compared to defeating a Bogart. Sometimes, if we need a friend, we have to ask for help. Remember, sometimes courage looks like walking toward fear, and sometimes it means walking away. Let's close our time together today with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for the courage to do hard things. Help us to remember to be brave even when we are scared. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed week.